Magnum Kiki Ipatsu was the first boxed Famicom game I bought. Basically, I needed it for my collection, and the box copy was only about $5, so why not get it? Unfortunately, it wasn't a very good game. Magnum Kiki Ipatsu is actually a port of the arcade game Empire City 1931. In fact, that arcade title is used as the subtitle of the Famicom game. The story of this one is that Dean, who you are playing as, witnessed a crime. Now the Mafia is after him, but Dean has a gun, and that's all you really need. The structure of Magnum Kiki Ipatsu is a little bit weird. There's five stages consisting of eight levels each, and then a final boss after that. However, the levels in those eight stages just loop. So you play the first eight stages, and then you just go back and play them over and over again until you reach the ending. You're given a password when you start the first level of each stage, so you could think of it as clearing each level of difficulty until you eventually reach a boss. To play Magnum Ikipatsu, you have to kill all of the gangsters on each level. To do that, just move the crosshair over them and hit the A button. If there isn't a mobster visible on the screen, there will be an arrow pointing in the direction you need to scroll. Sometimes those mobsters shoot back, and when that happens, there will be a countdown in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. The mobster doesn't have to be on screen to shoot at you either. You can shoot them before the counter goes away, or you can press the B button right when the mobster would fire, which lets you dodge it. The timing on the dodging is a lot trickier than it looks, because the timers don't move consistently. And sometimes they'll just pop up with the mobster already about to fire. It doesn't help that the only indicator for this is that tiny number in the lower right. You're probably going to be scanning the rest of the screen looking for mobsters about to pop out at you, so it's really easy to miss it. You only have three lives in Magnum Iki Ipatsu, and it only takes a single bullet to defeat you. And if you do get a game over, you have to start over at the beginning of that level and go through all the stages again. Your Magnum holds 10 bullets, and when you run out, it takes about 5 seconds for you to reload. That is an incredibly long time for you to not be able to shoot in this shooting game. I'm going to reload starting now. And there it is. There's no indicator that you need to reload, or counter for bullets you have remaining in your gun. All you can do is track how many shots you fired, and when you're at 8 or 9 bullets and there's no mobster on the screen, just burn through the rest of your shots and wait for the reload to complete. You don't want to have to wait for it to reload while a mobster's there. While you're looking for mobsters, you'll also spot these crates. The items inside the crates are solely bonus points. It could summon a money bag or a gold bar that you could bounce. Could be a cockroach or superman. But in the end, it's just points. And points don't even earn you extra lives in this game. And that is everything I have to say about Magnum Iki Ipatsu. Like most light gun games, it's pretty shallow. But in this case, you don't even have the challenge of using the light gun. It becomes a game where you just scroll around each stage, following the arrow, shooting the mobster, and then repeating. There isn't any big action, or cool set pieces, or even mechanically interesting gameplay. This is a shallow, repetitive game. The only saving grace is how big the characters are, and we've seen that done better, while the limited animation on them does not do the characters any favors. It's not even well remembered in Japan. All of the information I could find on it was just that it was a game that existed. And that is the most anyone can say about Magnum Ikipatsu.